Well, everyone's been very kind about the awful wake that this boat has. And the reason it had an awful wake is because I foolishly turned up the bottom of the boat. Right there where you see that fill foam, I turned it up about, oh, two inches uh, to the stern bottom chine. And that just caused an awful upwelling. So I'm adding the scoop. This one's rough cut and glued on. Not fared at all. This one has started its initial fairing and it's getting to where it probably is uh, close enough to start fine sanding and then I'll, uh, I'll coat it with epoxy and then cover it with glass and so forth. But uh, the rudder turns like this. It gives me about oh, a little less than 45 which is actually, I would say, perfect for this. And the bottom uh, ties in nicely, at least on the one side so far, and will tie in on the other. And I'll do whatever I do with the edges and so forth, but that's gonna be my, my latest addition to Squirt in an attempt to give her a, a beautiful, crisp, clean, smooth wake. Something fun to watch instead of what I have now. Okay, out. Well, it's ready for glassing tomorrow. I've taken it from uh, where it was an upwelling to hopefully this configuration, which will be a much smoother wake and a longer run. And those two things together ought to give this boat oh I don't know about speed I don't care about speed but it ought to give her a pretty little wake and uh, also maybe even some performance oh here she is done painted at least one coat looks pretty darn good tomorrow I got a solo uh, there's gonna be like 15 16 mile an hour winds really looking forward to it there's the bottom I think she fared pretty well, and she's quite a quite a good-looking little scoop, if I say so myself. <laughs> okay, we'll give it a try tomorrow. More to come. Don't have a rooster tail, don't have a tremendous upwelling. Anything over five, she starts to really scoot out.
sailing at Jordan L. well, one or two. Not sure how she's doing a heavy sea. Boy, the wind just died. It just died. If winds are 15 plus, she scoots. She scoots. I'm not sure if I could get it up to 20 plus. It'd be a lot of fun and put a foresail up. The foresail, without it being on a furler, um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking I'm going to have to be just a two-person foresail boat. Maybe not. Maybe I'll figure it out. I'm taking my time going through the paces on Squirt. We'll eventually get it all dialed in. I think this is the fifth time I've been out. First time I've been out on my own. Gus, right there. Hopefully it comes down my way. I think it's going to. There it is. seem to get to me. <laughs> Looks like it's blowing harder than it is. Not sure. Must be a little wind tunnel right there. I may not be high enough in it. But uh, she seems to do better when uh, I put my weight towards the back. Backs up so fast when the wind dies. <laughs> Put it for a second. See if this is another gust. Yeah, the wind is so gusty here in this uh, mountain reservoir. But it doesn't hold for more than a couple seconds.
Jordan Elm. Nine. This might be a certain season. <laughs> 